ACI is the region to go to when looking for inspiring insurance innovations. An important catalyst in developing the Asian insurance market is Invest Hong Kong. Invest Hong Kong is the Hong Kong SAR government department dedicated to assisting insurtechs in expanding and scaling their business via Hong Kong to mainland China, Asia and beyond. The free and confidential support they provide to companies range from planning and market exploration, business setup, launching the business, all the way to business expansion. Hong Kong is one of the world's leading fintech and insurtech hubs, with 165 authorized insurers and the total gross premiums of the industry amounting to 74.4 billion US dollar in 2019. Furthermore, the city serves as a breeding ground for fintechs and insurtechs that aim to conquer Asia. In this interview, King Le Jung, head of fintech at Invest Hong Kong, will share his insights on insurance and innovation in the region, the insurtech landscape, the Hong Kong Fintech Week, and how Invest Hong Kong is supporting companies to successfully land in Hong Kong. Furthermore, together with Swiss Re, Carvergo and Resurance, he will give an impression of the business landscape in Hong Kong. Welcome, King. Could you please briefly introduce yourself and tell us more about Invest Hong Kong? Hello, everyone. My name is King Leung, Head of FinTech at Invest Hong Kong. We are very pleased to offer our services to many of you to come to set up in Hong Kong and also help you to expand regionally and beyond. So why do you think Hong Kong is the place to go to and be for InsurTex? Well, in case you wonder, what is the market size of insurance in Hong Kong? Basically, the annual premium of the Hong Kong insurance market in the year 2020 amounted to 78 billion US dollar. At the same time, we also have over 160 insurance companies and few hundreds of insurance brokers. So that provides very fertile grounds for insure tech like yourself. Now, at the same time, we also have been following many studies around the world. And the recent study by BCG we also recognize that in the year 2020, the insure tax segment has raised the most amount of funding ever. So that basically gave us a very good sense about a strong momentum of the insure tech market. Thanks, King. Next, let's have a look at insurance company Swiss Re. We have with us Janik Even, global analytics business partner at Swiss Re. Janik, can you introduce yourself and briefly describe the Asian activities of your company? Hello, my name is Yannick Even, and I've been living in Hong Kong since 2010 and working on digital transformation and data-driven corporate innovation for insurance across the region. I joined Swiss Re in 2016 as the first ever Insurtech Solutions Director. And two years ago, I've taken the lead of the data science team across the region. The Swiss Re Group is one of the world's leading providers of reinsurance, insurance and other forms of insurance-based risk transfer. Our mission is to make the world more resilient. We anticipate and manage risk from natural catastrophes to climate change, from aging populations to cybercrime. We embrace new technology, specifically data and analytics capabilities, to further our ability to offer services and risk insights that helps our clients and partners make more data-driven business decisions. Through partnerships, we also create platforms to process, transfer, and distribute risk. Across Asia, we have a bit less than 3,000 employees, and our growth in the region is a strong group focus, China in particular. Thanks, Yannick. From an insurer's perspective, how do you see the opportunities for overseas insurtax in Asia, both for the medium and longer term? Digital transformation is accelerating across Asia and impacting the insurance industry in two overlapping waves. A technological shift with better sensor all around us, we see an explosion of data and ability with cloud to process and transform this data to powerful insights. And a behavioral shift where customer and business partners want smoother experience, more personalization, more transparency. 
Those push the rapid evolution from insurers to adapt and collaborate with their tech and data partners to better support their decision making through superior insight from new and existing data. Enabling productivity through the automation transformation and integrate emerging technologies and capabilities to look at new ways of doing business. Partnership is at the core of this transformation and at the core of the Swiss Regroup strategy. We are particularly focused on creating value with our partners, on building data-driven risk mitigation and risk prediction solutions. Looking as well to parametric insurance, where we can leverage data and technology to automate insurance services with data triggers. We're looking to find the scenarios where embedded insurance makes sense for the customer and the insurer where we can leverage ecosystem data to smooth pro protection onboarding and services. Thanks. And talking about partnerships, how would you describe the relationship you have with Invest Hong Kong and other ecosystem partners? We leverage existing insurtech, healthtech, fintech ecosystems to create risk partnership and data-driven solution. In Hong Kong only, there are now 25 established insurtech players providing value chain innovation solutions and about 40 players providing new digital business models around digital ecosystems, digital wellness, on-demand insurance, aggregators, peer and micro insurance. Of course, there are many more in China and across the region to leverage as well. We also sponsor large tech events such as the Hong Kong FinTech Week, an event that have an InsurTech focus work stream. We also participate in the multiple tech meetups, demo days and events across all the city, such as the one organized by Invest Hong Kong, the Hong Kong FinTech Association, Cyberports, Hong Kong Science Park and Astri, the digital insurer, the chambers of commerce and the big four. There is not a week where you cannot mingle your ideas and be inspired by innovators from the ever-growing Hong Kong tech communities. I'm also an active member of the Hong Kong Federation of Insurance InsurTech Task Force, where major insurers are looking together at the impact of technology to our industry and interacting with InsurTech and regulators to help embrace and bring value at scale. So I really look forward to welcome all of you to Hong Kong and continue this valuable partnership to scale the value and make the society more resilient. Thanks for sharing your insights, Yannick. King, are Hong Kong-based and Asian insurance companies ready for digital transformation? And could you describe the recent developments you are seeing? Now, at the same time, the traction in Hong Kong for InsurTech has really been getting some great traction. Now, in a way, when we look at the fundraising rounds successfully made by several of the insure techs operating in Hong Kong, we are very fortunate and grateful to share with you about some great successes from companies like Run Degree that recently raised 28 million US dollar coherence. They also recently raised 14 million US dollar. And then Ignatica, another insure tech raising 7 million US, cover gold 2 million. Now, one thing in common across these insure techs that successfully raised money recently was that they all offer the underlying digital platforms for insurance companies to transform the way that they launch new products and also interact with their customers. So that basically is a very good indication about the readiness for insurers to adopt insure tech in part of their journey for digital transformation. You mentioned CoverGo. We happen to have Thomas Holoop here, their founder and CEO. Thomas, can you share why Hong Kong is such a great InsurTech hub? Hong Kong is a regional insurance hub. There are more than 150 insurance companies in Hong Kong, with a total premium of more than 60 billion USD per year. Uh, this creates lots of opportunities for insurtech companies to introduce new technologies uh, to the market. 
And there is also a strong fintech and insurtech community and government support that makes it really easy for startups to launch their businesses. Thank you, Thomas. Well, King, you described regional ambitions for innovation and digital transformation. How do overseas insurtechs fit in? Now, another great success that we have seen from our insurtechs operating in Hong Kong is scalability. Now, among the firms I just mentioned that successfully raise money, one thing common about them is that they're able to use Hong Kong as a launchpad. And by leveraging on the relationship with their clients to do not only projects in Hong Kong, but they're also able to expand out the reach by rolling out to other markets in the region. So that scalability is so important, as we have seen time and time again from the Zhongnan Tech you know, to the Coherence, to the Run Degree, Ignatica, the Cover Gold, they all have shown great successes in getting clients in other markets in Asia. Now, the one thing that is also great about Hong Kong is because that we have so many insurers that have been operating their regional headquarters in Hong Kong. So as a matter of fact, they really look not just Hong Kong, China, or Asia, but in fact, some of them are also looking at global expansion in terms of all this rollout of technology. One example is one of our corporate champions, Zurich. They basically run the Zurich Innovation Championship. And this is a great program in which our global fast track program partnered with by having our selected insurtechs funneling into the Zurich program. And as such, basically they're going through this global selection process that in the end, that insurtech can be leveraged out globally within the Zurich ecosystem. So this is one great aspect about the international nature of Hong Kong as a great launchpad for you. Thanks, King. We have also been joined by Stephen Tomlinson, business analyst of the Insurtech Resurance. Stephen, can you please introduce yourself and tell us more about Resurance? Hi, I'm Stephen, a business analyst here at Resurance. Resurance believes its users should not be limited by technology, time, and cost. Resurance, as an insure tech startup, wants to help insurers think about how they can digitize their product offerings in three particular ways. Imagining, helping insurers to realize their ideas and make them a reality in the digital sphere. Create, helping to simplify the product creation process and help insurers to keep up to date with changing customer interests and trends. Distribution, launching new products to the market quickly and increasing your sales channels. WeSurance DTX is our SaaS platform to help digitize customers' journeys. Our users can de then digitize any of their insurance products by using the different features and can then focus on spending more time on their business initiatives than spending time and money on product development. We help to modernize insurance value chains. DTX platform works as a separate system in addition to the insurer's pre-existing infrastructure. And we do this through relying on subdomains so that the systems can remain somewhat separate. We can provide four key solutions as part of our WeSurance DTX platform. The first being Accelerator. This refers to speeding up and accelerating the product creation process to then offer directly to your customers. Vouch Assurance. This allows you to expand your channels beyond the well-established use of agents and brokers to now include third-party e-commerce providers you may not previously have partnered with. Thirdly, Channel 360. This allows you to efficiently and effectively communicate across your range of channels to increase your target audience. And lastly, Broker 365. This provides insurers with a way of strengthening their relationship with their brokers. So the brokers then can then offer their products to their customers 365 days a year. Thanks, Stephen. And how has the government incubation program facilitated the setup and scale up of your business in Hong Kong? And what was the best part of the program? So I think the incubation program was very helpful for a number of reasons. The events that Cyberport hosted were very helpful for our management team to learn more about fintech and the industry as a whole. By providing us with access to these events and the opportunity to meet others involved in the program gave us the support and passion to develop our ideas further. The opportunity to network with other insure tech startups and fintech startups 
was useful to explore and learn more about different market trends and what insurers really want. The networking aspects allowed us to implement new ways of thinking into our new product offering and business growth strategy. Without the opportunity to attend these events, we would have had to use greater amount of time and resources for market and industry research. Ultimately, the incubation program was very helpful. It helped us with our strategic direction to know more about the fintech and insurtech industry, particularly within Hong Kong, and how we can adapt to the local markets. The best part of the program was the introductions and networking aspects that Cyberport supported us with. It brought us into contact with people who were experts in their field and can provide real, applicable advice. They taught us about the industry and how we, in ways that we may have previously struggled to access. We've learned that it's about getting your idea heard and welcoming any feedback possible. The opportunity to meet with investors is also incredibly helpful. By meeting with investors, we can learn exactly what they want and think is worthy of investment and what exactly the industry has for the potential for growth. Overall, the incubation program was incredibly helpful. Thank you, Stephen. King, could you tell us more about the Hong Kong FinTech Week, the annual flagship FinTech event in Hong Kong? Now, after listening to all this great information, you might ask, well, where should I start? Now, a good place to start is by joining our global fast track program, in which we are able to use this program to connect you with potential clients as well as investors. Now, but that's not it. We also have the Hong Kong FinTech Week, which is a flagship conference that we showcase all the FinTechs to the outside world. So last year, the year 2020, we we're able to reach out to 1.2 million viewers around the world. Basically, with all these amazing speakers from the governor of PBOC, Mr. Yi Gang, you also have other legendary investors from the Ray Dalio to Jim Rogers to the CEOs of major financial institutions. Basically, all these great information and speakers are able to attract a lot of the media attention. So last year, we were able to attract over 800 media coverages. So this is really a great platform for you to showcase your firm to the entire world. So with that, I would like to welcome you to join us at the Hong Kong FinTech Week 2021 to be held during the 1st through the 5th of November. Thanks, King. Thomas, from the side of CoverGo, could you give an impression of what InsurTechs can deliver in the Hong Kong InsurTech landscape? What makes uh, CoverGo stand out uh, in the crowd? Uh, Cargo is the first uh, fully configurable modular no-code insurance platform to streamline and automate all the insurance uh, processes. Uh, insurance companies uh, use Cargo in uh, three different ways. Uh, first, uh, building and launching products. Uh, Cargo supports all types of insurance across PNC, Health Life, and we are able to build products within hours or days. This is 99% faster than the industry average. Uh, insurance companies uh, also use Carigo uh, to digitize their distribution processes. So Carigo uh, supports omnichannel distribution. Traditional channels such as agent brokers, bank insurance, but also embedded insurance, affinity partnerships and direct distribution. And finally, companies use Carigo uh, to digitize all their policy admin processes. So we digitize the whole policy lifecycle from forward by an issue to endorsements, renewals, cancellations, claims, and all the other processes. And how we really stand out uh, is in uh, four ways. Uh, first, uh, Carago is a no-code platform. Uh, we are pioneers in the no-code space. We apply no-code to the insurance industry. Why no-code? Uh, no-code allows the business users to be able to build their products, to be able to build their workflows, their forms, their templates, with no custom development needed. This really brings the flexibility and speed to market to all the insurance uh, companies. Uh, second, it's our modularity. So Cargo is a fully modular system. It means uh, companies can use Cargo for the use case that they need. They don't need to use the whole platform. They only can use certain modules uh, to fit their business. Uh, third, uh, insurance companies uh, can benefit from more than 500 open insurance APIs. This is the most comprehensive set of insurance APIs in the market. With these APIs, companies uh, can integrate with their legacy systems 
as well as other partners in the ecosystem. And this really allows uh, companies to do real-time processing you know, and build a robust uh, insurance ecosystem. Uh, and finally, uh, speed to market. This is what companies uh, come to CoverGo for. Uh, we allow companies to build and launch products within hours, within days. Uh, they can build new distribution channels and digitize all processes at the record time. Thank you all. King, Yannick, Thomas and Stephen, it was good hearing your insights about Hong Kong's InsurTech landscape. I'm really looking forward to seeing your further developments in the future.